The hostility started after House Speaker Pernell Charles stated that while he is legally bound to table the report, he also had a responsibility to ensure that there are no discussions in the Parliament which could prejudice any current court cases. Former Education Minister Ruel Reed, his wife and daughter, as well as CMU President Professor Fritz Pinnock and Jamaica Labour Party Councillor Kim Brown Lawrence are before the court in relation to alleged irregularities at the CMU. Mr. Charles told the House of Representatives he had sought legal advice in coming to his decision. However, opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips questioned the source of the advice. Are you prepared to share with the members of the House the basis of the legal advice on the constitutional matters which you presented to the House. Did you receive advice or did you advise yourself? Dr. Phillips, as the Speaker of the House and one who is qualified and one who has been to a university like you and have obtained a degree in government, I advise myself according to the standing order and the Constitution. Dr. Phillips insisted the Parliament could debate the report without compromising the court case as many of the issues raised in the document do not refer specifically to the matters for which Mr. Reed and others may have been charged. When the Speaker insisted he would not entertain a debate, Things escalated with opposition MP Ronald Thwaites arguing that the Speaker's decision was pointless given the report had already been leaked. You promised that we would we have the report to once you I made the statement. Where is the report, been, Mr. Speaker? Been... Where is the report? The report that to our shame, to the shame of this parliament, every newspaper, every radio station has already, but we the parliamentarians can't get it. Unacceptable. You demean the very office of member of parliament as if you are defending the honor of the speaker, as if you are protecting anybody. With the speaker determined to move on, leader of government business in the house, Carl Samuda, stood to make a statement. However, the opposition was not ready to let it go and tempers reached boiling point when Mr. Samuda refused to yield the floor to allow a question from opposition Senator Dr. Angela Brown Burke. Even with most in the opposition benches standing in solidarity with Dr. Brown Burke, Mr. Samuda for more than 20 minutes held his ground, daring the opposition MPs to walk out. You know the good thing about this, the good thing about this is that half of the will be back after the election. She was standing on a point of order. She was standing on a point of order. You think, you think I'm going to yield to her? Eh? You think I am going to yield to all of you? You can, you can think again. The standoff ended after Mr. Charles stepped in to allow Dr. Brown Burke to speak. She sought clarification about when the CMU report would be laid, with Mr. Charles outlining that it would be done when the agenda item announcement was taken during the sitting. Stephen Winter, Frontline News.